Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Hisui region. Yes, what in the hell am I wearing? I just realized I should probably be in my uh, uniform for this, but you know what we're gonna do? Silene has had a message for us for quite some time now. Or rather, Leventon has had a message to tell us to go talk to Silene for quite some time now. Oh, I never noticed this before. <laughs> Been playing this game for so long. All I've noticed new stuff. Well. We still have a little bit, a little ways to go here, but you know what? Look at all this. Hmm. You've made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. I've been waiting for that for so long. I mean, it's been a couple months, I think. With this, you have officially attained the rank of full star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. The rewards you earned for your survey reports will be more generous now. Siribot, I just turned you off! You are ruining a perfect moment! Well, not off, but specifically said, online note if off. <sighs> and I present you with these. Ooh. Ooh. You've reached the highest possible rank within the Galaxy Expedition Team. Continue to carry out all your duties with the dignity expected from one of your rank. That means no dodge rolling through the city. <laughs> kind of expected Laventon to come talk to us or something. You've reached the highest rank possible within the, the highest possible rank within the Galaxy Expedition Team. Doc, Doc, listen. You know I expect great things of you. Carry on the good fight out there. <laughs> By the way, I have a little little piece of cosplay over here that. Um, I get more people in here I can share. Sorry about remind me of that. I know you won't. So what exactly are these things up here? Which is the zoom? Oh, I guess I can't. You know, I realized I've been referring to her as Dr. Pessel, but does she have, is she ever referred to as a doctor? Andra Beauregard and I came to Hisui Kent hoping to achieve great things out here. We'll work hard to make our dream come true. Ribbit. <laughs> I came here all the way from Owen. It seems this land is just getting interesting. Imagine in the heat of the moment, like, someone comes in with a huge, like, gaping chest wound or something. These things would just be a hindrance to have up automatically. You know, maybe move them over here and then set them up as the patient's need. <laughs> For people in Pokemon alike, nothing is more important than health. There would certainly be fewer casualties if everyone had a partner Pokemon with them. The zoom is really uncomfortable in here. So look, she apparently does... Uh... Vision tests. <laughs> well, I don't know how the heck you're supposed to give a description on that, something like that. I mean, like, when it's up or down, that's one thing, but... I 
I wonder if there's a Pokemon that could help me find my way when I get lost. Something like Captain Silene's Abra, perhaps. Don't you go affixing yourself to Silene. Here we go, all the dignity of a physician. If people and Pokemon start living together, I'm sure some people out there will see that as a great new business opportunity. Eh, here we go, Monty. The, um... The uh, only Ginkgo Guild member who is worse at his job than Volo. <laughs> Volo at least sold you some stuff. <laughs> I can just imagine, like, trying to explain things to Ginter, and he's like, uh, uh, he's not my worst salesman. He's like, okay. He just tried to... Yeah, I know. They always brought in some money. <laughs> is that literally all you care about? That is literally all I care about. Hey, Beauregard. I hear some galaxy folks plan to turn one of our base camps into a new village. Which one? I would like to know that. You know what? Now that we're level 10. Okay. No. Hey, Razu. Now we're that we're level 10, I think there might be something special we can buy. Oh, really? Mercury, hi! We just got up to level 10! She hasn't said that she added anything. The, yeah, bandit outfit. Diamond and Pearl Clan outfits. Tailored suits. Yeah, I was just going over how uh, Mani, the guy in the basement, is probably the Ginkgo Guild's worst member. I mean, Volo may have tried to destroy the universe, but he at least managed to sell some things. Whereas Mani never even tries to sell you things. By the way, I was saving this for when I got some viewers. I got a little bit of a cosplay here. Can you guess what this is going to be? <laughs> Let's see if you can figure it out. In the meantime... Let's actually progress with the storyline! Ah, no, I'm not going as Benny. <laughs> Mitsumi, I have something important to discuss with you. I heard an odd rumor. I believe it may be the key to unlocking the mysteries behind massive mass outbreaks. I practiced saying that so I wouldn't screw it up. You must first acquire ten mushroom cakes and bring them to the secret hollow in the Alabaster Icelands. I call this my tricky treat strategy. Wind blows. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you in the Alabaster Icelands in the secret hollow. Request 99, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'd say I have I have enough mushroom cakes. You know what, though? For going up to the Icelands... Hmm... Let's see... 
Oh, crap. It's cutting off at the bottom. Well, it was my only other guess. Is that Jeez, uh, I can't... There we go. Nope. Nah. I, th there's no way I could fashion a wig like that. I couldn't do Wix wig, so there's no way I'm going to be able to do that. In fact, on this one, you won't be able to see my hair at all. <laughs> if that clues you in on anything. Uh, so, oh yeah, snow boots right there. And snow goggles. And I think that works. <laughs> okay. I was commenting earlier, though, on that subject. I think the fact that we see his portrait displayed for the rest of, you know, as long as we finish playing, as, as long as we continue playing, means that most people in Jubilife don't know what he did. <laughs> Okay, all right. Well, we're just going to go to the Alabaster Icelands. We're going to ignore the potential for Shiny Starly because we already have Shiny Starly. Is at least Pokemon related. It's from this game. I mean, who do we know? Wears a lot of white, and you can't see their hair. I mean, gosh, it could be anyone. <laughs> okay. Uh, where exactly? Okay. It's been a little bit since I played the... the, the I want to... Okay, why is, is the... Oh, okay. Oh, just up that way. Okay. Well. It's been a little bit since I played this. I've mostly been playing Animal Crossing over the past month. My shoulder is still really hurting me. So, um, I did talk to my physical therapist the other day and she said I could stream whenever um, I wanted. You know, just watch my positioning and posturing and stuff like that. I'm keeping an eye on everything I pass. Okay, I know what hollow she's talking about. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, I know you see me. Uh huh. Oh, that's that's kind of amazing. I managed to make it there on one flight. Pop pod. Okay. What do I have in my party right now? I have Petalil. Giant Petalil. <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I don't even remember what sorts of tasks I have for everything. Okay. Will you wait for my... I've learned to always wait ever since I played Final Fantasy VI. Ooh, I'm getting ultra frozen. I could have waited outside. Did you bring me ten mushroom cakes? 
I, I could have given them to you in town. No, you really couldn't have. This little bastard here would have eaten them. <laughs> well done. Wow. Mushroom cakes. Some quality ones at that. Now we're just getting started. Leave the rest to me. My voice for her, I remember I was going with monotone. Because Marley is always kind of monotone. But one, Maya is far more expressive. And two, I keep forgetting if I gave her a low monotone or a high one. I just remember Silene is really flat like this. Just right in the middle. You can return to Jubilee Village. I'll share how successful my strategy was when I'm finished. Um. Um. S -s Screw that. Um. I want to look around at stuff. You know what we're going to do here? Okay. Because I want to try to do all the courses and everything like that. What? <laughs> Mitsumi! Oh, that's not what I did for his voice. It wasn't high like... It wasn't low like that. <sighs> I had a visit from Melly. <sighs> um. I am once again blanking on a southern accent. I don't know why. I don't know why. <sighs> Let's see here. I always... I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about a southern accent. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You came all that way just to boast about giving you some agwap berries. You said you lit up with so much joy, your smile nearly split your face. I can't imagine that was the case. I'm sure it was a confused grimace or a smile you merely forced yourself to give him out of pity, but I still can't let myself be outdone by him. So I've been looking for you all over here soon. To give you this, my very own reward to you. It is naturally far superior to anything Melly can offer. Oh, and did I see one of those massive mass outbreaks? And I did see one of those massive mass outbreaks on my way here to find you. I wonder if they might be caused by the geology of the place where they occur. Perhaps there is some mysterious kind of stone in the ground which draws Pokemon near. Oh! And I had a message for you from Ma. She would like to meet you in Jubilee Village. Yeah, Ma, she just told me. Yeah, she's been waiting for you there. No, she hasn't. She's in the cave, like right there. Turn to your side, you might actually be able to see her. I suppose it's more accurate to say she's been chatting away with Sumugi from the Security Corps about Badoof. Uh, yeah. The one person in town besides Kamado who actually thought of us as a traitor. <laughs> as for me, I think I may visit the hot springs since I come all this way. Do be careful of any massive house outbreaks as you head back. Strong Pokemon might appear. Does that mean I might actually, uh... I could find... Okay. Here's what I want to try. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Haven't played this game in over a month. I love that Melee vs. Leanne is a running thing. I know, right? Fuck, frickin'. No. 
No, I don't want to. I got so confused. Okay, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay, fine. We are going back. <laughs> uh, return to the village. <laughs> okay. I still haven't forgot what you said about me. My, my, what's on your mind? What in the world are you talking about? Mushroom cakes and strategies? Are there... There's no dittos in this game. Come to think of it, Irida also came to me with an odd request. She asked me for hearty grains, so I gathered some for her. Could they... Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aren't they great? Oh, I know what it is. Um, Zoroark, isn't it? <laughs> There'd be some Pokemon taking the guise of people to stir off mischief. So that means they can actually talk. None of this is why I called you here, mind. I meant to tell you that a massive mass outbreak has been reported in the Coronet Highlands. The next step in our research is to investigate the Coronet Highlands. Let's see what we can find. You know, something I'm looking forward to is this summer's summer's ga summer games done quick. Because I have a feeling they're going to run this game. And I have a feeling it's probably going to be something like five hours, but I don't... I, I, I have no way of knowing how long the speedruns are for this game. <laughs> I think the speedrun for bits is like ten minutes or something now. Let us continue our investigation into these outbreaks here in the Coronet Highlands. Mitsumi! And my! I hurried here because of a vision my clairvoyance showed me. Some poor soul was running from their life from a bunch of alphas. I just barely saved them. It's as I feared then. These massive mess outbreaks really are growing out of hand. Mitsumi, we must endeavor to find the truth behind why they keep happening. Uh, yeah, yeah. Big packs of Pokemon might not be much trouble if you've got a trusty partner, but if you don't, you... I'm scared just thinking about it. Why did I give her the high-pitched voice? You did well to save that person, Safi. You're as fine a protector as any lord or lady Pokemon. Thanks, Mom! If my clairvoyance shows me anyone else in trouble, I'll do my best to save them, too. Just be careful while you're out here, okay? She's right. I know how strong you are, but we should move with caution here. Okay, well... There's one right over here. Heaven Ward Lookout. No, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it! <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, look at that. There's a big one over there.
Oh! I'm gonna check that action out, huh? Okay, and it's... I think salt cakes that attract inorganic Pokemon. Hmm. Kind of hoping it, I would get a backstrike on it when it spun around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Uh-huh. Ah, well, I do have a level discrepancy here, but... Ow. I did most of my exercises earlier, but not all of them. I still haven't gotten used to doing this one where I have to make like a paddling motion with a broomstick. Let's go over here, get this satchel first. Come on. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm bit ah, kind of on an internal timer, aren't I? <laughs> that's what screwed us up the first time. Okay, uh Well, here. Come on. Okay, there's one over to the side this way. <laughs> oh. for this for this setup okay mm. come on so mercury how's uh, life been going for you uh, I've been doing um, all right I guess. That one looks different, but I know it's not an alpha or a shiny. I don't know what it is. Something about it just looks different to me. Oh, I think I know what it is. It's because the lighting makes their eyes look weird. Hmm? The rainstorm may go on a bit longer. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're right here, huh? Uh-huh. May go on a bit longer. Yeah. Okay, and I know, yeah. Okay, cuz the um the shiny for it is gold, so Showing like the villain I am gonna extra early day tomorrow, so I'll only be here another half hour. That's fine. 
I mean, at least we were able to come and watch. I was worried I'd be talking to myself. A new horde seems to have formed. Oh. Oh dear, we're right in the middle of things. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh... Crap, okay. Uh, this way. What do we got up here, huh? Okay, so those are just their regular. See something sparkly. Oh. Okay, I'm not trying to get you guys. I'm trying to let's try this way. Um Okay, we are headed for something. Is it, I don't want it to clear up yet. <gasps> Fairies. Fairies. Actually, got a do Clefairies. Okay, honey cakes are for fairy-like creatures. <gasps> oh, they're level sixty. That's why. Getting so overwhelming. Okay, report back to my. All right, I finally found some freaking Clefairies. Spooky sound. I heard like a woo. What was that? It wasn't the shiny charm. You know, I gotta say, it makes me want to have a game set during the days of the Celestica people. You know, I want to know what happened. But I just, you know, I, I know that we're never going to get answers. We're never going to, we're never going to get the answers we seek. And that's going to make us hostile and angry. And, you know, hashtag relatable villains. <laughs> uh, there's always something down in here, ain't there? Whoa, okay, yeah, I just... There. 
Alright. You chill now? Nope. Nope. And... That vague area. That's what fanfic writers are for. I know, right? <laughs> okay, now... Uh, my dad's sick and he's in the other room honking up a lung. Uh. Imagine seeing this place in its glory. Did they tear all this down to make Celestica Town? Or Celestic Town, rather? Or is it just in a place that we can't go in the modern day games? There it is. <laughs> okay. Huh. I see caught 18 Pokemon. Get her vulture findings. I only caught three Clefairy, the rest of them all poofed away. Really? Dead weak. <laughs> it, it can be found in quiet mountain areas on a full moon's night. Its dancing and its tiny, faintly glowing wings confer upon it a lovely fairy like quality. Investigate whether Clefairy dance under a full moon. Method unknown. So, okay, so I'm going to have to um, come back here during a full moon, apparently. <sighs> Always got to keep going back. Always got to keep going back. It's kind of odd to have the hub town, you know, down in the southern part of the <laughs> of the uh, region. Maybe I should... Oh. Okay. I have to go right back out again, huh? Okay. Oh. Okay. Report back to Mai. That's what I needed to do. Uh, I don't know where she is. Oh. She was at the base. The one at the base, wasn't she? Oh, well. It's not far from here. Let me get some of these. Yeah, there's like one other guild member that help me set up that camp and then she disappeared probably tore it down to build Celestic Town maybe the cave where we get those red gems is where the fresco of the lake trio was painted who knows <laughs> I have a theory as to how the people may have repopulated because since Cynthia is almost certainly of the same bloodline, having the same light hair and gray eyes, and the... Now we know the pendant is somehow significant, even if we don't know how. Um, I'm assuming that since Kamado is from Johto, he probably sent word back to Johto that he had set this up, and that people from Sinjo as well came. So, you know, they have the bloodline as well, because that's apparently where most of them fled after whatever the hell happened. <laughs> Good work out there. It seems we may have learned all we can from the Highlands for now. There you two are. Hope your investigation's going all right. I heard folks in our clan and the Pearl Clan are all helping investigate these massive mass outbreaks, or whatever you call them. And I thought, what kind of leader would sit back and do nothing while you're all working? 
So I figure I grab whatever supplies I could find that might come in handy for you. Here, materials for those sticky glob things. That's how I do my hair every morning. It's great. How leader-like of you, Adaman. <laughs> Don't make fun, Mai. I'm trying to help. You misunderstand me, Adamant. It's the sister who helped raise you. I'm truly proud to see how far you've come. Is she older than him? She does not look like it. Much bunch. Uh, listen, Mitsumi, I've been wondering. Do you think... These massive mass outbreaks could be some sort of trial for Mighty Dialga or Mighty Palkia. I mean, maybe. That's even how I talk. <laughs> it kind of feels like it, right? As if someone's telling us, if you've got the guts to face a real test with your partners, take on these Pokemon, otherwise stand back. Quite like you to see it that way, Adaman. Yeah, well, I'd love to stay and talk, but I got an appointment to keep with that Benny fellow. I've been trying to teach, get him to teach me his tricks. <laughs> I want to know his recipes and his ninja tricks. I'll be the renaissance man. It'll be great. As I do, I'll give you a proper demonstration. But in the meantime, stay safe as you investigate. D don't try to be cool, Adaman. My, my. It would seem having a trusted partner cause this one to view these outbreaks in a rather different light. Now then. The Alabaster Iceland still await. One more steep hurdle for us to overcome. Munch. Munch! It appears Munch likes is eager to continue as well. We'll await you at Juve Life's front gate as usual. Join us when you're ready for another survey. Okay, the front gate or the side gate? Because <laughs> you've been meeting me at what I would consider the side gate. It's just, it's the main gate. <sighs> Who even knows anymore? Our last item of research is to look into massive mass outbreaks in the Alabaster Icelands. Let's finish this together. Hey. Yeah, so why not? Let's let's just freaking go head to the snowfields camp. Cold here seems to cut right through you. Uh, this bullshit again. What are you two doing here? I came to advise you the massive mass outbreaks seen here in the Alabaster Iceland seems slightly different than the others. The outbreaks happen during rainstorms in other areas, but here they seem tied to bl they seem to be tied to blizzards. Blizzards, you say? It could just be the cold environment, of course, but I have to wonder if there's more to it. Well, we'd better get to it. I think we should look into more outbreak locations than usual this time. I know increasing the scope of our investigation is a lot to ask at this point. Even for someone with your skill, Mitsumi, it'll take a long time to check so many areas by yourself. It's a good thing I'm here to help you out then, isn't it? And I suppose even Leon might be of some use. This will be the first time investigating these outbreaks, won't it, you two? Try not to overstrain yourselves. Certainly. So, sum up. Mitsumi will focus on just three areas, as she's been doing till now. Anyway, Sligu and I will handle the remaining areas. 
Uh, there's something wrong with your math there, little man. You've left me out of the equation. So you can do basic math, can you? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, how to subtract you from this assignment for starters. Oh, God, I gave him a southern accent all of a sudden. I know how to subtract you from this assignment for starters. I will finish all the remaining areas on my own. You needn't factor in. <laughs> I can't tell if they hate each other if they're both enjoying this. It's probably a little of both. Either way, I imagine they never would have crossed paths if it hadn't been for you. For now, let us focus on investigating the outbreaks here in the Icelands. Well, might as well, huh? It's right over here somewhere, so let's try it. Yeah, run right into the ceiling, huh? Really? Okay. Uh... Someone somewhere is shipping valiantly and I can't decide if I like it or not. Oh, golly. I have no idea. Like, would, would Leon just look like clay when he's an adult or what? Or, like, would he look... The reported, but... Really? Okay, well, at least it counted. Okay, there should be something down this way. Okay, let's see if I can Skyrim my way up here. A little bit. There we go. Should be able to see something by now, right? Oh. Oh! Pachirisus! What are they doing up here? Do they, do they live up here? Okay. Green cakes. Oh golly, level 60 Pachirisus? What the? For God's sakes, really. Come on! You know what's funny is they're doing this despite not having, uh, I'm not listed as being spotted. Huh. I don't know 
what's going on? It seems to be taking a while to lock on. Okay, recorded Pokemon seem to be gone. Now there's more over here. No. No. Do not want. That's an interesting thing for an outbreak. Get some bean cakes down there. Oh, come on, you see me that mu that far away? Okay, fine, you know what? Let's try this then! Yeah! Uh, play rough? Is that one of the. <laughs> okay, come on. The control schemes of this game are awfully dense, awfully hard to get a hold of. So if you don't haven't played for a little while, it's hard to pick it back up. Of course it turned around. Of course that one turned around. What? What spotted me? Of course. Hi. You gonna... You gonna try to do something here? That is one big cat I've got, huh? do 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 Mm. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, no, I gotta switch it back to the other. Okay, um. Well, might as well go pet a little. My enormous sprout. You know what? Leaf storm. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Nah. Oh, there's th no. My, my window just closed. Come on. Or not closed, I guess. It just kind of minimized. Bean cakes and smoke bombs, and now I'm glad they don't disappear when the blizzard ends. Come on. Yeah, yeah, 
And yeah, awesome. Report back to my, oh, you know what? Here. Let's go uh, let's go try to find this. Okay, well, I mean, I, I can always use more crunchy salt. Hmm. Probably go to bed, have fun. Alright! Thank you for dropping by! Have a good day at work tomorrow! I might try to stream this weekend, depending on how everything goes. Okay. So it's gonna be... Ow. It's gonna be over here. Yeah. This. Oh, here it is. There we go. Whew. Lordy Loop. <laughs> Only two. Only two out of that whole Amber Raid. I'm just glad none of them showed up shiny. I would have been very disappointed. Since he's made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Oh, number caught and aqua jet water pulse, nice. So you finished checking the three areas you were charged with in the Icelands. Much. I've gotten word from Melly too. Says he's about to ready to wrap it up. Leon said he and Melly worked together to investigate the last outbreak. Oh. <laughs> worked together, huh? Well then, it seems we're done here. You've worked tirelessly to investigate all across the Sui. We still don't know what causes these massive mass outbreaks. And they pose a threat to anyone without strong partners at their side. It'd be nice if these outbreaks didn't put anyone in danger, but things rarely work out that easily. Perhaps these outbreaks are someone's way of telling us we must better understand the Pokemon with which we share vast Hisui. Yeah, I could get behind that idea. <laughs> but for now, we'd better get going if we want to make it on time. Come along, you two. Where are we going? This is the place. And we pick the perfect time. What do you think? This lovely space, given to us by Almighty Palkia. And this fleeting time Mighty Dalga gave us. Such a beautiful view is only possible because we have both together. Yisui means so much to me. My love for it is as vast as the land itself. Tell me, Mitsumi. Do you enjoy surveying this land once again? Was it? I suppose it's always thrilling to have a mystery to delve into. I enjoyed it too. Much. I heard these massive mass outbreaks trigger some kind of reaction in your Munchlax, Mai. Is he doing alright? He seems fine. Pokemon remain mysterious creatures to us. Who's to say how he does it? 
I'm just grateful to him for helping us find the outbreaks and telling us what we'll find at each. That reminds me. I've spread the word that the people of Hisui should be alert for massive mass outbreaks during rainstorms. Thanks for that, Irida. Hopefully no more poor souls will wander into one unprepared to take a beating. Seems like our lives are going to keep on changing. And we'll keep adapting just as fast. An ever-changing Hisui. Tell me, Mitsumi. How do you think the future people of Hisui will live with Pokemon? <laughs> in gyms? What is a gym? And why would you battle in one, Mitsumi? <laughs> they say they're places where you can challenge a skilled battler to prove your mettle. Interesting. I'd like to be the one who deems the challenger worthy. Well, whatever may come of the future, aren't we lucky to have been born into such fascinating, fast-changing times? You said it! Not that change is always good. There'll always be people who don't want change at all. Hey, that's life. We'll just have to work hard and push on. And I'm glad we'll have you for everything with us as we do it, Mitsumi. No, I'm, I'm going back. I'm going to tell Arceus that he better send me back or I'm going to put in a leg lock. Thanks for everything. You certainly have curious ideas. But I suppose that's no surprise coming from someone who fell out of the sky. <laughs> we may have finished our investigations for now, but much like I will continue to help you however we can. Much. You know, Mitsumi... Perhaps these new outbreaks truly are just a gift from Almighty Sinnoh. A gift meant for you. For all the good changes you brought to all of us here in Hisui. Almost all of us. Daybreak and they give you a dawn stone. That's cute. <laughs> Welcome back, Mitsumi, and find work with your surveying. Pardon the imposition, but would you follow me to the training grounds? I'm boiling in this outfit, dude. Come on, give me a break. We just passed my house. I called you here for one very specific reason. I wish to have you try your hand at a new form of Pokemon battle. I used to think that Pokemon were terrifying creatures. You've helped me see otherwise. Thanks to you, there are some in this village who now enjoy battling with Pokemon. More and more of us now see Pokemon as allies. <laughs> it's for that very reason that I would like you to continue to further your trailblazing. With the taking part in a new form of battle will help us deepen our understanding of Pokemon. In the midst of a tough battle, what does your partner desire? And what is your opponent thinking? I believe that you have the ability to sense these things, and we'll do our best to learn as well. This is quite a difficult request we have for you, but I'm sure you are up to the challenge. Ask Ingo here for a more detailed explanation. I'll leave the rest to you, Ingo. Please let me know when you are ready to try your hand at these new battles. Okay, that's... Okay. Well, I might as well go put stuff in my satchels and in, in my, uh, in my... Over here, then. Ow! Oh! Frick! Oof! Oof! <sighs> 
Of course there isn't. Uh, of course. Mm. Oh. Uh, no. Mm. Oh, yeah, because for some reason it doesn't... It's not a proximity thing, because it won't let me access the stuff in my in my uh, box, even though I'm standing right next to it. Even though I can do that at the um, at the um, uh, campsites. Mm. I can't let my Pokemon out in here. Uh. Oh, I have a new request in Galaxy Hall. That's fun. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, it's just going to be on the professor's board again, huh? It's probably going to be about Clefairies. Yep, Clefairies Moonlit Dance! Yay! Astair from the Supply Corps said he'd like us to look at something about the habits of Clefairy. Alright. I want to know what the hell that thing actually is. Like, they, they did the art book and everything and it doesn't actually say. Okay, yeah, it's just over. Oh, now I see it. Wait, why am I talking to you? Tried any of Ingo's Path of Solitude battles yet? The Path of Solitude tends to master the art of battling with a single Pokemon. Battling a tough opponent with just one Pokemon in your party feels like reaching for the stars. You really gotta know your Pokemon well so it can come up with the best strategy. On that note, I've got a request for you. They say the Path of Solitude is tough to beat, but that's exactly what I'd like to see you do. Get myself, but uh, all sorts of battles are just way above my level. Bidoof's Path of Solitude, really? Okay. Eevee. Not finished yet. Abra? Blissey? Still more to go. Sizzle, Rotom. Bastiodon, okay. Rosalia. One of these is good. Yeah, there we go. One of these is going to be Magikarp, and that's what I got the level 100 Magikarp for. So you could play the Pass of with any of the Pokemon I just mentioned. Come show me the mark in your Pokedex. Commander Commodore requested that I provide new formats for battling, and I have complied. Enjoy these new avenues for demonstrating your skill. Which would you like to attempt? The Path of Solitude will pit one of your Pokemon against my Pokemon, Pokemon of my choosing. What will you do? On the Path of Solitude, as the name implies, you must battle with only one of your Pokemon. If your Pokemon emerges victorious, I will add a mark to its page in your Pokédex. Oh. I caught this. Shiny Haunter. In a rift. With about 30 seconds left. But I engaged it in battle, so I was able to extend that time. But it was, like, rapidly rumbling around us, and I had to contend with two, I think it was Ursa Ring, that were also in there. Ever. <laughs> 
I don't know why I arranged it like that. You've chosen Ever as your lone Pokemon. Are you ready to begin? I hope. Very well then. Let Ever's Path of Solitude begin. All aboard! I don't know how I'm supposed to do this because it doesn't learn flail or anything like that. Maybe I'm supposed to do it just by enduring that. Cannot use items. Okay, uh... I, I can't... I can't use Agile style? Okay. I defeated Electrode. With Magikarp. Most splendid. Ever has reached the final station on its path of solitude. I have added a mark signifying its victory to the page for Magikarp in your Pokedex. Allow me to present you with this prize for having completed the Path of Solitude. I knew you could do it! What a thrill to see your Pokémon best the Path of Solitude like that! <laughs> I hope you keep enjoying the Path of Solitude. Okay. Yeah, I just I had to evolve more, catch some more, and defeat eight more. Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> a feeble, pitiful imbecile of a Pokemon that is nonetheless very hardy. Unperturbed by turbid water, can be found living on all sorts of places. You know, when I complete the decks, I want to do a read-through of it. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh. Okay, I don't actually have... All right. No, wait, it's this one. And missions. Okay. Still have to get that. And I have been spoiled for the end. Uh, it's the, I, from what I understand, my suspicion was correct. Because she said there were 107. Okay, Eshim, that's the one who wanted us to set up, the, the Ginkgo Guild member who helped us set up the camp. And then she disappeared. And mushroom hunting with Swinub. Add a Swinub to your party. <laughs> Balloon race in the Icelands. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Kagata still wants us to do this. If I could battle with a sturdy pope Magikarp that can withstand a lot of damage. Yep. Seize its chance while the opponent is drowsy. Swap its defensive and offensive stats. A mechanical item that would give your Rotom the advantage. Yes, I have all of those. Okay, so I should do it with a Dark Ice Sneasel. Or is it Ice Dark? I never remember the order. Uh, healing moves to endure the opponent's attacks. 
Mimic Master. Okay, so since Ditto isn't in this game, it's probably a Mr. Mime. Um, one particular form of Wormadam. Okay, so it's just well-trained. Oh, that's right. Eevee also learns Mimic. Using your opponent's moves against you. Okay. I want to get that scene, though. Scene everyone was talking about. Maybe it happens when I do everything else. She's in her office right now. But as we all know, people can teleport. We never did solve the whole issue of who is impersonating Mai. I know the scene takes place in this general area. I'm still nowhere near catching all the unknown. Ow. Mm. Okay, confession, my arm has actually been hurting quite, quite, quite a bit. So, I, uh, I am just gonna end it here. Um, yeah, you heard me. <laughs> then what's your name? That's Sanqua. Who are you? Okay. Canala Let's, um, let's just, um, let's just go raid someone. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think we're going to go raid Super Ninbao. He's playing Link to the Past. Um, I think this should be a good time. Uh, I was watching him last night. He beat Lost Levels. Um, so yeah, uh, let's, until next time. <laughs>